Hey you guys, it's your girl Dosh coming back to you from Real Takes. Uh, for this particular trailer reaction, which is for the Wonder Woman final trailer, I would normally do only my reactions on Sunday, on the weekends, but this dropped actually during the MTV Movie and TV Awards. So when I heard that it did drop, I said, okay, I'm just gonna come straight home from work and I wanna see it. And I'm just praying when I watch this, it doesn't give anything away. I have not watched all the TV spots. I didn't even want to do reactions to those. That's why you didn't see those uploaded. But um, I want to do the final trailer. I know we are two weeks out. Yeah, we are like, like literally almost well, two, almost three weeks out from the um, the movie. So needless to say, um, I'm just like over it. I'm ready for it. I really want to see it, and I'm looking forward to this movie. I've been waiting for this since I was a little girl. I've been a Wonder Woman fan for years, so. This should be something a lot of the girls who probably grew up with the same thing as me just feel really strongly about this. It's like about time and finally. So with that said, let's just jump right into it. Diana. Fighting does not make you a hero. What if I promise to be careful? She is so cute. <laughs> just a shield then, Diana. No shot that you. She's so... Persistent. Be careful of mankind, Diana. I do not deserve you. You've told me this story. So cute. Typical child comment. <laughs> what is this place? Who are you people? We are the bridge to a greater understanding. Right. So somebody's naked. What Don't is get your it. mission? Well, here's the thing. You are in more danger than you think. The boys in the trenches called her Dr. Poison. Poison. Millions would die. The war would never end. I'm going, Mother. If you choose to leave, you may never return. How will I be if I stay? We'll come. Technically, the war is that way, but we gotta go this way first. <laughs> How can a woman fight in this? Oh! Who is this Ripley. young woman? <laughs> She's my. Uh, and, um. Diana, Princess of the Mystery. Prince, Diana Prince. I love this. This war should stop. Help me stop it right now. What are you? You will soon find out. Yes, they will. It looks so good. I love that part. I love when she slides. Experience at an IMAX 3D June 2nd. Okay, you guys, that was wonderful. I, I I just can't wait for the movie. I can't wait for the movie. It needs to come on. I've been waiting since I was a kid. I did Wonder Woman costume when I was a kid for Halloween. My love for her goes back decades. I don't want to put my age out there, but um, this looks really good. I give you props to uh, Gal Gadot. I'm so excited for her. She looks awesome playing Wonder Woman. She looks like she's just going to knock it out of the park. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they did state it that it's locked in to do a second one. So basically, it's almost like they know it's going to do well. But I, I really feel like it's going to do well. And I have some of the other guys that I watch who do... Um, who talk about Wonder Woman, you know, from the previous uh, trailer reactions, you know, they feel like sh this one's going to be the one that saves DCEU. I'm, I'm going to say it's going to put it definitely on high par, whatever. I like the Superman movies and I like the uh, Batman versus Superman movies. I'm not even going to go into that because that could be a long drawn out um, conversation. But, you know, just the way it was marketed, I really feel like honestly the thing that kind of hurt it a little bit was the simple fact that... Um, they show too much in the trailers. That's one thing I don't like. This new thing they've been doing the last couple of years where they have to show too much in the trailer. I know some people are like, I wish they showed this. I wish it was You wish it and then once it happens, then what? 
there's no satisfaction when you go to the theater. You're sitting there because you've seen most of the, the trailer to kind of have an idea of what's going to happen. I don't want to see everything. I want to wait to the, in the theater like everyone else and get the full experience in the theater. That's the whole point of us being as moviegoers. There's nothing about this that makes me want to go into a movie when you've given me most of the plot. That just literally annoys me and I'm not going to waste my time and you're not going to get my hard-earned cash, you know. So I would prefer not to know. Just like I'm glad I didn't see the big bad to know exactly. We know a couple of villains. We don't know what's going to happen because I'm assuming Miss Miss Dr. Poison is going to do something to cause a transformation with one of the guys who's a villain. So I'm just glad they never showed this. Thank you, Patty. She probably has something to do with that to make sure when they marketed it, they didn't show too too much. It's a tease. This is still, to me, a slight tease. And I love it like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, to each his own me, I don't want to see nothing. Give it to me in the theater. That's why we go to the movies. I want it left there. Now, as for the cast... I'm looking forward to Chris Pine. I'm excited to see Robin Wright. I know a lot of people are really are not paying attention to it ever since, I think, the second from the last trailer where she was having that little fight sequence with Gal Gadot where she was like, you, you expect the battle to be fair. And I loved her accent. She looks like she's going to be a badass. Excuse my language, but I look forward to watching her do her part. And that scene where I'm thinking that's her in the air shooting the arrow. So I'm just totally down for this. I'm just happy. Long overdue. I wish Gal Gadot the best because once this comes out, it's over. Her anonymity, whatever little bit of privacy she had, she's not going to be considered Wonder Woman. And who knows what this can probably into other roles for her, which is great. She does other things, but this will definitely catapult her on a whole nother level. She she knows what she signed up for, I'm assuming. But this just makes it better. I almost hope and pray Patty Jenkins is on for the second one because I can say it even though I'm not psychic. But I feel like, you know, it's going to be a second one. And I would really prefer Patty to be the one that's involved with this, you know, so let's hopefully... Fingers crossed for that, you know, so, but with that said, I rambled on enough, you know, I wanted to wait to the end to do it, so in case you all don't want to watch that much of me talking, a uh, hole in your head, so, with that said, you know, you guys, put your comments below, tell me what you think, also, share, subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next trailer reaction, you guys, take care.